Hey everyone. Today we're going to break down how heap sort works using a simple example. Heap sort, a comparison-based sorting technique that uses a binary heap data structure. Often celebrated for its efficiency, today we'll break it down using the example array. Let's get our hands into the mechanics of transforming chaos into order. Step 1, we start by arranging our array into a binary tree. We place each element following the order they appear in the array, ensuring every parent node has at most two children. First up, we place 3 at the root. That's our starting point. Next, 5 goes to the left of 3. It's our first child. Moving on, 1 slides in as the right child of 3. Now we're adding 6. It'll be the left child under 5. Then comes 8. It goes right under 5 as the right child. Next, 7 joins in under 1, taking the left slot there. And finally, 2 fills the last spot as the right child under 1. And there you have it. Our array is now a binary tree, each parent nicely having no more than two kids. This setup is the first step before we turn it into a heap. Now that our binary tree is all set up, it's time to transform it into a max heap. This means we need the biggest numbers at the top, making sure every parent is larger than its kids. Let's adjust this step by step. We begin at the bottom of the tree with the nodes 1, 7, and 2. These are our leaf nodes parents and where we start the heap adjustments. First, we look at the children of 1, which are 7 and 2. Here, 7 is the larger number, so we swap 1 and 7 to keep the max heap property intact. Now moving up to 5, its children are 6 and 8. 8 outstrips 5, so we switch them to maintain our heap structure. With those swaps, our next focus is the root of the tree. 3 is currently the root, but now below it, 8 which replaced 5 and 7 which replaced 1 are larger. 8 is the largest of them all, so 3 and 8 need to change places. Great, we're almost there. But observe 3, which is now a child under 8. Between 3 and its new children, 6, 5 is still in the right spot, but 6 is larger than 3. Let's swap those two to finalize our heap. There we have it. Each parent node now presides over its children with the highest values on top. Our max heap is ready. Now that we've transformed our binary tree into a max heap, it's time to get into the heart of the heap sort mechanism. This is where we actually sort our array. Let's go through this process step by step. The first step in the sorting phase is to swap the root of the heap, which is the largest element with the last element in the heap. This moves the largest number to the end of the array, where it belongs in the sorted order. With eight now at the end of our array, it's locked in its final position. The new array looks like 2673518. But notice, swapping disturbed our heap structure. The new root is 2, which may not satisfy the max heap property. So we need to heapify the tree again. Heapifying starts from the root. We compare 2 with its children 6 and 7. The larger of the two children 7 should become the new root to maintain the max heap condition. After swapping 2 and 7, our tree partially resembles a max heap, but we're not done. 2 is now under 7 and we need to ensure it doesn't violate the heap structure further down. Since 2 only has one child, which is 1, we compare these two. 2 is already larger than 1, so no further swaps are needed at this level. The heap property is maintained here. We'll swap the root of our heap 7 with the last element, which is 1. This exchange moves 7 to its correct position in the sorted sequence and brings 1 to the root where it will need re-evaluation. Next, our task is to restore the max heap property starting from the root. With one now at the root, it's lighter than both of its children, six and two. We need to swap one with the largest of its children to maintain the max heap structure. Six is larger than two, so we'll swap one and six. Our new heap configuration after the swap is six, one, two, three, five. Six is now the root, and it's appropriately the largest element at this level. However, we need to ensure that the new position of 1 also respects the heap conditions. Comparing 1 with its children 3 and 5, we see that 5 is the larger of the two. To maintain the max heap structure, we should swap 1 with 5. Our heap is now correctly structured as a max heap again. We'll proceed by swapping the root with the last element in the heap, then reheapifying to maintain the heap structure. With 1 at the root, it's lighter than both of its children 5 and 2. To maintain the max heap property, we need to swap 1 with the largest of its children. Between 5 and 2, 5 is clearly the larger element. 
We'll swap one with five to move the larger element to the root and restore the heap structure. After the swap, our heap configuration becomes five, one, two, three. Now five is correctly placed as the root. However, we need to check if the position of one, which is now a child node, still adheres to the heap property. Looking at one and its new child three, we see that one is still lighter than three. To keep the max heap structure intact, a further swap is necessary between one and three. This results in a new heap configuration of 5321. With this arrangement, every parent is heavier than its children, confirming the max heap condition is maintained throughout. In the next step, we will swap the root 5 with the last element 1, placing 5 in its correct position in the sorted array, and then reheapifying the remaining elements 1, 3, 2. We now have our smaller heap 1, 3, 2, and need to restore the max heap property starting from the root. The root element 1 is the smallest, with children 3 and 2. To maintain the max heap property, we need to swap 1 with the largest of its children. Between 3 and 2, 3 is the larger element. We'll swap 1 with 3 to bring the larger element to the root, ensuring the heap's structural integrity. Now we'll proceed with the next step of the heap sort process. We'll swap the root 3 with the last element 2, continuing to segregate the sorted elements from those still needing to be hepified. Let's reheapify starting from the root. We compare 2 and 1, and since 2 is already larger, no swap is needed. Our small heap 2 and 1 is a valid max heap. With the heap 2 1 confirmed as a max heap, the last step in our sort process is to swap 2 with 1 to finalize the sorting. Our array is now completely sorted, represented as 1, 2, 3, 5, 6, 7, 8. Heap sort has successfully arranged our elements in ascending order. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share.